guys, what's up? Good morning, wherever you are. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Claire, and thank you for joining today. As you can tell, I have wet hair, no makeup on, but I'm dressed. I'm actually getting ready to go to work, and if you don't know me, I work at Victoria's Secret Pink at their corporate offices here in Columbus, Ohio. Today, I just thought it'd be cool to show you how I get ready for work right now. I have 15 minutes before I need to leave so filming today probably isn't my wisest idea but I really just wanted to do a quick little makeup look something I do all the time every day for work makeup can kind of be different some days I'll do like a full face of glam makeup and then other days I'll do BB cream and mascara and today I'm gonna to be showing you the in between that super 15 minute um, super 15 minute super easy quick 15 minute makeup look so without further ado let's stop talking and go ahead and do our makeup and subscribe if you're into beauty makeup lifestyle vlogs that kind of thing hit that little button i would appreciate it so let's go i also have egg white bites that i made um this weekend so i'm gonna be eating on those while getting ready i went to the gym this morning and that's why my hair is wet because i took a shower like i said my makeup for work is normally not too fancy it just needs to be something that's long lasting so first i will go in with this smashbox photo finish primer and i'll just do this all over my face and then for foundation, um, something I really love, I'm almost out, I need to restock, is the Anastasia Foundation. Um, it's her Luminous Foundation. It's a medium coverage, and that's why I like it. Today's, like I said, I'll do uh, BB cream, and some days I'll do like a full coverage foundation. But for the most part, I've really been liking this Anastasia one. When I first got it, I loved it, and then I was kind of like, eh, because um, I was more into full coverage. But now I'm back on it, and so I'll just dab this all over and blend all this out oh my hoop came out sometimes i'll get ready in like my robe and stuff but today i just felt like putting on clothes first because some days i'll dress up more and then other days i'll do like what i'm wearing now which is like a t-shirt jean jacket and leggings I'm trying to make this foundation like kind of thin because i'm almost out like i'm scared we're going to run out today now that foundation's on, no matter what, I'll always do my brows, so I'll kind of just brush them out a little. And then I've been actually using this brow styler from Benefit, and it's in the shade 3.5. It's like a medium brown, and I'll just kind of fill out my eyebrows. And I like this because it's just quick. And so I don't really do anything special. I'm really, honestly, if I'm being real, I'm not good at eyebrows. It's pretty obvious if you watch my videos especially in the beginning like i will say i've gotten better but i'm also not a fan of like crazy like slayed eyebrows um because i just think that's obviously not what a eyebrow looks like so that's why i kind of just do mine i fill them in to where there's no like naked spots and i make them just look full so that's pretty much what i'm doing right now especially when i'm like in a hurry for work now sometimes when i do glam i like to do like a, a slayed eyebrow but that's because like you want your eyebrows to look kind of like obviously done um i just more i'm more of a, like a full natural eyebrow kind of gal i wish i had like bigger eyebrows and after i do my brows i'll sometimes go in with this gimme brow from benefit just like a brow gel or I'll use my Anastasia one. Now I will put on some bronzer and I'm gonna go into Tequila Tan by Kylie Cosmetics. Where's my bronzer brush? And I'm just gonna contour my face with this all around. And you might notice I'm not putting on any concealer. I'm gonna do that in a second, but one thing about my like, I don't know, work makeup, I don't like to look super cakey and sometimes I'll do like a ton of concealer under my eyes and brighten and then I'll put on powder and sometimes when you wear powder all day you start to look kind of just cakey and um like when you work in retail it's kind of like a like a I don't know like a cute casual vibe sometimes so that's why I kind of just don't really like to go full glam all the time if that makes sense but now I'm gonna go into this Maybelline palette this is my the master contour I talk about this all the time I love this middle blush it's like a bubblegum pink if you ever get this please let me know because I would love for people to get this <laughs> and I would love to know if like my referral did anything for you 
And then I'm going to go into a touch of the multi-use sculpting concealer from Born This Way. Normally I'll use my Kylie concealer, but at the moment I have no idea where it is. And so I'm just going to take a little tiny bit. You can see like under my eyes, they're a little purple because I'm sleepy. I was up really late last night working. Um, and I'm just going to take that and blend that out under my eye. And make those dark circles go away. And then now I'm actually going to go into my Jaclyn Hill Dumi um, Luminous Powder. And this is actually what I've been kind of using to brush all over my face when I do this quick makeup look because it just makes you look super dewy. You just have to use a little bit of product. So I'll like set my under eyes and everything because I like the glow that it does give. So you just need a little tiny bit. See, it just kind of gives you like a natural glowy look. And I'll just put this literally all over my face sometimes. I don't do this all the time because I don't want to like waste it on just an average Wednesday, but it just makes your face look kind of radiant even if you are going for a more natural makeup look. Now the eyes today are going to be really quick because I just have a few minutes left before I have got to go. We're going to go into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This is like my favorite palette. You can see I need a new one because these are like my favorite colors and I'm out of them almost. But the first shade, I'm going to go into this third shade in the palette. Um, I don't have the one that has the colors on listed, so it's just the third neutral shade. And I'm going to take that with a fluffy brush and put it all in my crease. I just really like to wear almost like a natural eye look to work sometimes because it just look like you did something, but you really took like a couple minutes. And then I'll actually deepen up the crease with the shade right below it. It's the same kind of concept, but just a little bit of a deeper color. These are like two of my most used crease shades I've ever had. And so I'll just kind of put those on the outer edge and blend up into the crease. Just to give it a little bit of a, um, I don't know, a contour in your eye, what's it called? I can't think of words, it's really early. Definition, that's the word I was looking for. It'll just give, I need to wash my brushes, or clean my brushes, um, but yeah, this just gives it a little bit more definition. Sorry for all the faces I make when I blend out my eyeshadow. And then I'll just touch up the edge out here with this sponge to make it look a little bit cleaned up. And then like I said, the first two shades are my favorite and I just think they really like make the eyes look so bright and pretty. So I'm going to take what I have left of actually the first shade. Normally I'll go in like first or second. I just switch it up. They're very similar. They have like a slightly different undertone. One's a little bit more yellow, but this is the first shade. And I'm just going to uh, take that and put that all over my lid. I think there's something else on this brush that I'm using. Um, but just really quickly, we're running low on time, so it's okay if it looks messy because I'm about to clean it up a lot. <laughs> I'm going to go back into that first brush and I'm just going to blend all of that out. So you see it just cleans up really quickly, maybe tap back into the eyeshadow just a smidge to really just fix up the crease a little. And see, it's just like a light airy look um and sometimes i'll add other shades to deepen up the crease like the dark browns and um sometimes i'll go in with a winged eyeliner i probably am gonna buy me a new jacqueline hill palette because i wear this thing all the time and then i'm actually going to take that deeper shade that we used right here and put that on my bottom lash line so i'm just going to use this to kind of deepen up the bottom lash line and so i'll go back with that fluffy brush to smoke it out and blend it out. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. This is super important to me. And then a mascara I've actually been loving. I got the Sephora Favorites Mascara back at Christmas when they do like their like top 10. Um, and I like this one from Too Faced. It's Dang Girl. You feel me? Um, and so I like, I just like the wand. And so I'm just going to take that and put that on. Starting on the top lash line. I actually just went to brush my teeth because I've been eating those egg white bites. And um, I like to have a clean um, mouth before I put on my lips. So I'm going in with MAC Whirl Lip Liner. Y'all know this is the best. And I also am heating up water because I'm making a medicine ball from Starbucks. 
So if you hear the microwave, that's what it is. Okay, I'll just do like a light lip line just to kind of add definition. And then I'm going in with Coco K by Kylie Cosmetics. I know y'all are probably sick of it, but that's like my go-to daily makeup, like lip, this combo. Kind of just like puts the whole look together a little bit more and then I'll touch it up with the lip liner again. Okay, last step for today is highlight and I'm going to go in the Jaclyn Hill Flash Palette and I like to go in either the first or second shade. I think today we're going to use the second shade which is Ice and I'll just put on a little bit of that. See, it's like really powerful. So, and then a little on the nose. I love it like a nose highlight. I know some people don't but I'll just kind of dust the rest wherever the key is really setting your makeup i'm going in with the morphe setting spray i'm almost out i run out of this stuff so fast because i use it every day i'm actually going to go in with a little bit of the luminous dewy skin mist from tatcha i got this in like a kit for christmas or i bought it for myself for christmas from sephora And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, I hope you like this easy little daily makeup look that I do for work. Um, if you did like it and want to see more makeup looks, let me know. I like filming makeup videos. I feel like I get less views on them, but I really don't care because I love makeup. But let me know what you want to see next on my channel and what your favorite types of videos are. I think I'm going to film a work day of my life next. Um, so let me know if you'd like to see that. But I'll see y'all in my next video and have a great day and stay blessed. Bye. Mwah.